I have been setting up my 1073 preamp incorrectly for years. And I called two very successful producer, engineer, friends of mine, and asked them about the way that they set up their own 1073 preamps, found out they actually do it incorrectly as well. So I think this is a mistake that a lot of people make because the big red knob just looks like the thing that you wanna crank up. Not every 1073 preamp is set up this way, but most of them are. Stam Audio, which is what I have, their 1073 preamp is definitely set up this way. I've now verified with Josh who runs Stam Audio and also BAE is set up this way as well because I was able to find this one video on YouTube that I'll play at the end of this video that shows the way that you are supposed to set it up and you can see the way that the output is set up uh, in that video. But it's very hard to find the correct information for this. So today I'm gonna show you how to do that and set up and get the best sound out of your 1073 style preamp. So now we're looking at my Stam 1073. And as you'll see, the bottom right here says trim. So this says trim. So I always thought that you'd wanna have that sort of in the middle, like at 12 o'clock. And actually on AMS Neve preamps, so I think that it's supposed to be set up at noon, but on BAE and STEM 1073 preamps and on some other brands as well, you're actually supposed to have the trim cranked all the way clockwise. Now on BAE preamps, it actually says output right here instead of trim. But on Stam Audio, it says trim and you wanna, you crank that and you're supposed to keep it all the way clockwise, basically all the time. Now, once that's clockwise, you'll then get your level volume with the big red knob. So you get maximum sound out of the output over there and then you get the rest of the sound, the um, amount of gain that you need out of the big red knob right here, okay? So the only time that you adjust this knob right here is actually to trim down the sound. So for instance, this is five dB increments. Pretty sure it's five dB increments. Anyway, five dB numbers, but they're usually set up I think in five dB increments as well. So let's say that you want the level to be somewhere between, you know, 60 and 65, but it's neither 60 or 65 is perfect. Well, then you would come over here to the trim and then that's when you would actually bring the trim back just a little bit so that you could get exactly the gain that you're looking for. But other than that, you should always use all of the output, which is this trim right here. You want to give it all the way clockwise on the output and that'll give you your highest headroom and your cleanest signal path. You may want to attenuate to here to get in between the 5 dB steps, but don't go further than 12 o'clock because it'll overdrive the preamp and it's not the pleasant overdrive that, that we, we get on the uh, guitar amplifiers. The reason for this is that on a 1073, a lot of the sound of it is in the output transformer. So that's why you want to get that output transformer max out. So to get the maximum amount of sound out of the output transformer, which is going to give you more of the Neve coloration and sound that you're typically looking for. So every preamp is set up a little bit different. And I'm just going to show you on one of these other stamp preamps that I have. Now, this one right here is the 312 plus tube preamp. And so Everyone, by the way, every preamp is different. So the 312.5 plus, which is a different stam audio preamp that I have, that one, you don't, you shouldn't start with a maxed out output. You should actually keep the output in the middle based on where the transformers are set up, or that's where Josh, the owner, would suggest that you start for that particular preamp. But on this 312 tube, the same thing goes, which is that right here we have the input transformer, then you've got the op amp, and then you've got tube output, which is what kind of makes this uh, preamp special. And then you've got the output transformer. So the reason why you want to actually keep this right here, which is all the way uh, clockwise as well, all the way maxed out on this particular preamp is that according to the maker, the kind of unique part of the sound, the most unique part of the sound of this preamp is in that tube and output transformer. So you wanna get maximum amount of tube and output transformer sound. And then 
the op amp and the input transformer, you want to use that sort of more to taste. And obviously you want to get the sound of that as well. And this is not an exact science, you know, because these are different, your output transformer and your um, op amp, you might want to get more of that kind of sound and less of the tube and the um, output transformer and more of the input transformer, sorry, and an op amp sound. But according to the maker, more of the sound that makes this preamp unique and what he's going for is in this tube and output transformer. And so in order to do that, you would want to max out the output section, which is this, this part right there. So you want to max that out and then just use this more to taste. So every preamp is a little bit different, but this 1073s are usually set up like this. I did not know that. I usually would keep the trim more in the middle or maybe even less than the middle. And then I'd max out more of the input section but yeah, in order to get the best sound out of it, I've been told, and according to the BAE video, that is not the best way to do it. So I wanted to help you guys out in case any of you were doing this incorrectly, just like me. <laughs>